that I would try to get my lift engine running. There's my two faithful hound dogs there. Um, so I spent the morning working on it. Uh, the engine has sat for about three years, so it was, it was a little stubborn, didn't want to start right away. Um, here I am walking into the garage. There she is. I'll turn off the radio here so we can actually hear. All right. Well, so got my pickle jar fuel tank there. I didn't feel like running the fuel line to the back and hooking up the fuel tank and everything for this little bit I was working on today. Uh, things get pretty small with my truck in here, but I needed uh, needed some jumper cables to jump jump start the engine here, so I don't have a battery for the hovercraft yet. Um, so here's the engine, 16 horse Vanguard twin. It's out of an old uh, it's out of my dad's old lawnmower. It has fairly low hours on it. The lawnmower was kind of a piece of junk, and he let me take the engine out of it. So that was very nice of him. But it's been sitting for about three years now. Carburetor was pretty gummed up. Had to take that off and uh, get that get that all cleaned up. But uh, other than that, things uh, things are shaping up. My mount here that I made is pretty lightweight tubing. It's only a sixteenth of an inch uh, on the walls. I was a little concerned that I'd get a little too much movement out of it. As you can see, I've got some rubber isolators here. Uh, that's an aluminum washer on the top. It's got a 3 8 bolt. It's uh, 6 inches long. goes through underneath to a hard point underneath, uh, which you can access through the access panel on the front here, and underneath the dash for the rear ones. Okay, and uh, as you can see, i got some kind of cobbled up wires here, just uh, just enough to get me going. Got uh, got my uh, main power running down to the starter there. See the lug on the starter is actually a little loose, so I'm gonna have to take that apart and get that fixed. Uh, got uh, my kill wire right there, it connects on the side of the motor. And uh, I just got that hanging right here so I can ground out the magneto and and kill this bugger if it gets out of control. Uh, I don't have any of the throttle cables or uh, the choke cable hooked up yet. Um, and the governor is still hooked to the motor so you'll notice this runs kind of kind of high. Uh, right there that's that's an actually a, a little home built muffler I threw together a few years ago to just I was kind of messing around with some muffler designs and it's pretty loud it really doesn't quiet it all that much. Um, so alright Let's uh, let's see about uh, firing this critter up here. We'll take this wire here with this uh, little alligator clip on here, and I just uh, should just be able to tap her on here. pretty happy it doesn't seem to move around too much doesn't transfer a lot of vibration into the body at all the rubber mounts seem to be doing their job as you can see down there I had a little spot where it was rubbing there's almost the identical spot on the other side here uh, it's not quite as bad no uh, it's pretty hard to see but what I did is uh, I took some sandpaper and I had some spray adhesive and I sprayed it on the sandpaper and I just uh, put it on the side of the wall right here and uh, also on, on this side over here and just shaved just enough off of the tips to where I shouldn't have too much of a problem with strikes. I'd say, oh I don't know, there's maybe an eighth of an inch there. 
it does open up a little bit in the back the duct is a little oblong I'd say uh, it's kind of hard to see but it's a little deceiving um, uh, oh, 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 oh. Um, it's about a quarter inch in the back at that very back point there um, that's the worst spot I can live with that it's not going to be a big deal so my next project is to uh, there I've got my splitters down there for my uh, inside tack strip and I have to I actually have to build the splitters yet but now that I've got the engine mounted and everything's in place I can take the time and I'm gonna actually bend those out of some aluminum that I've used pretty much throughout this whole thing I used it to line the uh, duct wall here and I uh, also used it to line my prop uh, thrust duct in the back too so well, that's it for today. Thanks for uh, watching the video. Bye.